In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple list using the Font Awesome icons instead of the regular bullets or numbers within it. So simply, let's take a look at the HTML so that we can get an understanding of it. We use the rich, rich text editor and just a regular unordered list with the list items, but we put a class on it and the class name of icon list. Now let's take a look at the CSS that was created to achieve this feature. So we went into manage style sheets and we created a new style sheet and the style sheet that we created, we called it icon list so that we could find it later on. And then going into it, we just have here, we have ul.iconList and then list style none. This removes the original dots that would show up. The second, we make it relative position each list item because our check marks or our font awesome icon is going to be using the suedo elements the suedo before element and it's going to be absolute positioned as we see in the code below we have the code for the font awesome icon since we're just using the font awesome five free well then we put that in there for the font family called as an inline block we have to use the font weight because the font awesome by free this particular icon needs the weight of 900 for it to show then we set the font size to 80 percent this is so then no matter what you set the font size of the text in there it's just a slightly smaller than whatever our actual text is and then our position absolute we want it to go left 25 pixels and top 50 percent then we use transform translate minus 50 so that we get that absolute center and if we wanted to change the icon well we could just go into font awesome let's actually go into our gallery here for font awesome we check the free and we look for check we look for whatever we want to use if we want to use for example the flag well we just have to copy the unicode for the flag go back into here and paste it there and we see that the flag icon has shown up now if we want to have different icon lists well then we just give it a different name we could create some like icon list check icon list chevron and so forth and then have a different variety of them but just use this as our, our base for creating an icon list items and that's it